Okay guys, this is my solar panel kit that I purchased from Harbor Freight for about $199 plus tax. It's 45 watts and I'm going to use this to charge up computers and lights, TVs, just small appliances, nothing major. I also purchased a deep cycle battery to go with that from a used place here for about 40 bucks. And it's in comparison to the 75, 80 bucks that it costs at Walmart, this battery is probably going to run me about four or five years, maybe a little bit longer. I'm not sure the amp hour of this battery, but he claims it's about, I guess, 125 is what he said. We'll see once everything gets hooked up and how it charges, and I'll let you guys know. But this is my solar panel kit. You're not going to see me unpacking it because there's a lot of videos on YouTube with that on it. You, you are going to see me putting together the frame and putting adding it to my actual base. But other than that, this is my solar panel kit and I hope it all goes well. Today I'm going to be discussing with you guys um, my solar panel kit and um, how I'm actually building a base to sit the solar panels on top of. And these are the tools that I will be using. I'm building a 24 by 21 by 16 inch base with a cover to sit the um, deep cycle marine batteries in and um, I guess what I'll do is I'll start making my measurements get all of this stuff cle uh, cleared off of the 3 4 inch plywood and then I'll turn the camera back on and we'll go from there. This is my battery box and it took me a while to build this. Actually, it took me a really long while because I am um, not a carpenter and I found some old plywood around the house except for the door. Um, the door is a piece of new plywood that I purchased from um, Home Depot. But anyway, the wood was a little bit warped and the measurements wouldn't uh, do right. I had to recut even after measuring twice and cutting once I had to shave off a little bit here and there so it took me forever to do this but if you can see I added hinges right here on the outer portion of the door because it would not do right on the inside and I put right here there are two I guess fasteners that I'm going to utilize to close the um, the actual door I'm going to put a chain over that or a lock when you open the door there are two shelves a top shelf and a bottom shelf and that's two batteries can fit there and two batteries can fit on the bottom also I put if you can see that right there those are the um, L brackets I'll keep this out excuse the noise and you can see how I did that but it's not finished I'm gonna paint it and I'll let you guys see the finished product after that so all right I'll be back I'm back in my workspace and what I'm doing now is I'm going to put together the uh, base for my solar panel kit this base is going to sit on the ground and going to extend upwards and it's going to be a tracking unit for the actual solar panels themselves then I'm going to take the two by two uh, excuse me two by four pieces of wood that I have right here and I'm going to put it right there where you see those markings at right there and it's going to actually extend upwards and on the top of it there's going to be a lazy Susan and once the panels are affixed to that then it's going to easily help me track the sun but you'll you'll see it once it's done and we'll go from there okay YouTube I am finally finished with the tracking portion of my solar panel kit now just in case someone wants to know how I did this I'm gonna tell you now that that's said this is how I did it I took the frame which was um, in the, the solar panel kit and I mounted it to a piece of wood which is right here and you can see right there it is um, mounted to that piece of wood I took that and did it on both sides and then I took a piece of wood from one side to the other side and I bolted it down with wood nails now after I did that I took the lazy Susan and if you can see underneath there there's a lazy Susan right underneath here and I mounted it to the top portion of wood and there's a bottom portion of wood which is right there the smaller portion I mounted that to two two by twos 
and I extended it from the base of that all the way down to the actual base of the um, the um, stand. What what the stand is is uh, four by fours, and I uh, it's a four by four by eight, and I cut the middle portion, which is this portion right here. I cut this portion in four a four foot length, and then this the side two, which is right here, and right there in two two foot lengths and then I mounted it together with um, L brackets so that it would be sturdy and it's pretty sturdy if you guys can see that it's pretty sturdy now what I'm gonna do is is gonna take the solar panels and I'm gonna stick that in there and you guys will get to see the entire unit um, put together and in working form okay YouTube this is me again listen I finally got my solar panels set up and they are on the back of my house I don't have them hooked up inside yet because I don't know exactly how I'm gonna go about doing that um, I got to figure out how to move a few things around and make some room but I did want you guys to see what I have so far and it is amazing here is the wonderful stand that I built for the solar panels and as you can see there are three cords coming out of each panel and they go down and into the charge controller in the back which is right there it has solar panel you just connect the positive to the positive side and the negatives to the negative and then you have your battery connect which goes from the um, charge controller down to the battery the deep cycle battery inside of the case and listen you guys honestly I thought that the stand was going to be extremely hard to build but I had some old wood around the house I don't know if I mentioned that and this wood gave me hell I'm talking about I measured twice and cut it and it would still be inaccurate because there was lumps in it it was just the worst wood ever but I finally painted it and made it a little bit better waterproof and um, I have it on some rollers. I don't know whether you guys can see that. A roller kit that I got from Harbor Freight. It's underneath there. And once I get all of this hooked up, I'm, I'm going to um, hook everything up to the power inverter, which is a 1200 watt continuous 3200 watt peak. So it's a pretty good inverter. I've used it on, on numerous occasions. But this is my solar setup. And I showed you guys how I built the um, solar panel stand and that's pretty much what you got. That's it. I am loving it. I can't wait to start using this thing. Thank you for viewing.